In the previous video, we have mentioned about the Eurocode 3 adopt the similar design rules as per the BS5950. Previously, the design of the steel structures are all based on BS5950. However, after 2010, it is being superseded by Eurocode 3 as the latest technical code for the structural steel design. In this video, we're going to discuss about some common differences in terms of the BS5950 and the Eurocode 3. First is about the design approach. British standards design the structures on basis of the types of the elements, such as the beam, the plate girder, the compression members. However, in the Eurocode, the design of the members are based on the looks acting on the members, such as the tension, compression, bending, and shear. Eurocode do not classify the design process in terms of the types of the members, rather than going to the fundamental principles of the design, which the members is to be checked against different types of the loops. And as long as we are able to analyze the load acting on the member, regardless the type of the elements, we can adopt the design process to any type of the elements. This arrangement has reduced the duplications in terms of the rules and make it to be more friendly for all types of the situations. Next, in terms of the factor of safety for the ultimate limit state, British Standard use the factor of safety for the load as 1.4 and 1.6 for the permanent and variable actions. British define the permanent and variable actions as the dead load and imposed load, while Eurocode define it as the permanent and variable actions with the factor of safety of 1.35 and 1.5. Next, in terms of the axis of the steel members, the notations of the axis of the Eurocode and BS is different. BS consider the major axis as X and minor axis as Y. However, in the definitions of the Eurocode, the X will be the axis along the members, the Y will be the major axis, and the Z will be the minor axis. The axis are indicated here. In the definitions of Eurocode 3, and this will be the major axis, which is YY axis. This will be the minor axis, which is ZZ axis. And along the member here will be the longitudinal axis, which is XX axis. Special attention needs to be given to this issue. As in the design rule given in Eurocodes, the axis of XYZ is adopted. However, when you are using the standard sections, the sections property of the standard sections are given by the BS, which you see the section property in terms of the moment initial radius of gyrations, modulus elastic and plastic modulus. They all appear in the XS and YY axis. That means if you are adopting the equations in the Eurocode 3, you will have to abide to this axis. And when you are adopting the section properties from the BS, you have to know that the XS and YY axis in BS is ultimately equals to the YY and ZZ in Eurocode 3. That means this SS axis in the definitions of the Eurocode 3, it will be the YY axis, and this in the YY axis as defined by the BS, 
should be the ZZ axis for the Euro code. Next is regarding the material coefficients. The modulus of elasticity as given in BS and Euro codes differ slightly, which is 2050000 Newton per mn square in comparison to 2100000 Newton per mn square. Because of the difference in terms of the modulus of elasticity, the shear modulus G will be different. As this value is adopted into the equations, you will get different shear modulus. However, both BS and Eurocode agree in terms of the Poisson ratio and also coefficients of the linear thermal expansions. These sections properties can be obtained from the clause 3.1.3 in BS and this can be obtained from the clause 3.2.5 in Eurocode. For the density of the steel sections, you may refer to the Eurocode 3. In terms of the grid of the steel, there are three grades of the steel for the BS while well, there are fine grades of the steel for the Eurocode 3. The Young modulus is different and you know that there is a reduction in terms of the design strength due to the steel thickness. In Eurocode 3, the reductions of the design stress appear when the thickness is greater than 40 and 80 mm. Well, BS separate the thickness into four categories, 16, 40, 63, and 80 mm. In terms of the symbols for the sections property, Eurocode 3 adopt a different set of the symbols as compared in these two diagram here. You will need to be very familiar with the differences in terms of the symbol, especially when you need to refer for the sections property from the tables given by the BS. The value obtained from the tables in accordance to the BS shall be adopted into the equations in the Eurocode tree. Next, in terms of the C to T, which is the width to the thickness ratio of the sections. The formulas given by the two standards is different. This ratio is normally calculated for us to classify the sections, whether it is class 1, class 2, class 3 or class 4 in Eurocode 3. The details of those can be observed from the Eurocode 3 Part 1, Table 5.2 for different types of the sections. For the section classifications, Eurocode 3 classify them into Class 1, Class 2, Class 3, Class 4, which in the definitions of the BS, they are the plastic, compact, semi-compact and slender sections. You know that the class 1 sections is the least susceptible to the local buckling, while class 4 is the most susceptible to the local buckling. And the limits used to determine the classifications are normally governed by these epsilon factors, which the definitions in BS and Eurocode 3 is also different. The difference is this 275 and 235. For your information, all the steel sections which are going to be adopted in the design are normally be checked against the classes in order to determine whether the sections can be used at its full capacity. You know that a team member subjected to compression force is susceptible to buckling. This buckling can occur before the member develops its full material strength. That means it can fail before the yield strength due to the local buckling. Therefore, we will need to check their classifications in order to know that whether the section can reach to its full material strength 
So that we do not overestimate the capacity of the exceptions. Next is regarding the deflection limits. In fact, Eurocode 3 do not provide guidance in terms of the limits for the deflections. However, such limits can be obtained from X National Annex and the deflection limits are clearly outlined in BS5950 in X Table 8. In general, both of them give the same degree of limits. That means in terms of the deflection limits, there is no difference between the Eurocode and BS. And these are the differences in terms of the wording for the BS and Eurocode 3. Eurocode 3 use the word actions to represent the force or the imposed deflections, the permanent actions as the dead loop, variable actions as the live loop, the effects as the internal force or moment or deflections, verifications to represent the check, and also resistance represent the capacity and these are some informative subscript of the Eurocode the ED here represent the design effects that means the design loop and the RD here represent the design resistance that means the design capacity of the section and these are some notable omissions in Eurocode 3 that means these three criteria is being silent by Eurocode. For example, the effective length. So you may define your effective length based on the guidance in the BS. Eurocode 3 also do not provide the formulas for the critical moment. You will need to refer to the standard here. And also, Eurocode 3 do not provide exact limit for the deflections. You will need to refer to the national annex.